a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have learned about what is Matplotlib, what is data visualization. In our today's session, we will be installing Jupyter Notebook. To install Jupyter Notebook, I would recommend you to use a software called as Anaconda. You can directly install Jupyter Notebook as well or you can install Anaconda as well. So I would be recommending Anaconda and Anaconda can be used if you have a lot of uh, space in your computers or in your laptops. So let's have a look on how Anaconda can be installed. So to install Anaconda, I'll go to my uh, browser here. You can write Anaconda Python and we have Anaconda Python over here. And here for Windows, we need to download. So you, as you can see, its uh, graphical installer is 594 MB. So if you have that much uh, space, you can. I would recommend you to use the installer uh, or you can directly go for Jupyter Notebook as well. After this, we'll click on download. Once we click on download, we'll be saving it. Once we click on save, it would take a little while to download because obviously it has like 594 MBs. So let's just wait for it to get downloaded. Once we have downloaded it, we will click on it over here. After clicking, we will get a pop-up over here on our screen and we will click on next. We'll click on I agree. Just me or all users install for all users and just me you can go for all users or you can just go for just me as well and it will ask you to, do you want to allow this app to make any changes so you will click on yes then we can uh, just give the destination for the anaconda so you can just provide with any des destination and we can register anaconda as a system python 3.9 yes once we are done it would look like this and it will take a little while over here as well for the setup to get installed so once this is complete we will click on next then again next then we'll click on finish and once we are done we don't have to do anything for here we can just go over here in our search box and write anaconda and we can just get anaconda over here once you click on it it will take a little while to open app like 10 seconds hardly the first time over here takes a little while like rest of the times it will open quickly because obviously it's a heavy software over here so it takes a little while now if we click on it we can see we have different softwares over here we have data lore we have ibm watson studio cloud we have jupyter lab also we have jupyter notebook and our pycharm professional over here uh, pycharm professional is also over here so all we need to do is use jupyter notebook to use jupyter notebook you can click on launch and once we have clicked on launch it will open a new tab and in this new tab it looks like this so we i already have some files over here but for you you won't be having any files and if you want to create a new file so for that you just click on new and we have python 3 ipy kernel and we'll click on this so basically this is how your jupyter notebook looks like and if you want to see a small example of how the user interface looks like i'll just import pandas for you because we have not yet started with matplotlib so we'll be just importing pandas import pandas as pd and i'll be just creating one data frame over here df is equals to i'll be writing name and let's say in, in the values i'll be just giving some names over here for example i've given john peter and we have david and lastly we have lisa similarly i'll just put a comma and give another uh, variable over here let's say we can give their marks so marks is equals to let's say 89 comma 30 no not 30 but uh, 97 comma 67 comma 90 and if i want to create a data frame i'll be just simply writing um df or we can give this thing something else like we can give this as d df is equals to pd dot data frame so, so here you might have realized that you won't be getting any suggestions over here so you can just write p or data frame and here you can pass d inside it now one good thing about jupyter notebook is you do not have to you do not uh, it's not required for you to write print statement and as soon as i press enter over here and just run it you will now notice that this data frame will get printed over here and i'll also write print statement so print df and as soon as we run it you can see over here we are getting the data frame that is uh, 0 1 2 3 name is this marks are this and if you can if you want you can up upload a csv file also over here and csv file also has a very good user interface over here so basically jupyter notebook the reason why we are using jupyter notebook is that the, it has better user interface you will be able to see the graphs in a better way and analyzing over here becomes will become much more easier so as of now i hope you have understood how to install jupyter notebook and and how you can install anaconda and inside that how you can open jupyter notebook and open a file over here in our next session we will be starting with matplotlib so basically we will be installing the package and we will be starting with its functions as well that what all functions are there in our matplotlib so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you